Hello. If you've seen the first in this series, you'll now be aware of how to produce a simple cyanotype from a stencil and produce a beautiful light blue image from it. This second video is about how to intensify that colour to go from the light blue more to sort of this colour blue. This actual image is one from the next video. So if you are interested in how I produce this, please watch the next one. Thank you. If you saw my last video, you'll see how I made this image on the left hand side. And I've compared it with the image on the right hand side. Now clearly there is a difference between the two. Now this image on the left hand side is still wet, it's just out of the water bath. I'm going to try and speed up the process of oxidisation to try and get a colour which is more like this one. So as a sort of test, what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop this one in half. Now there is a slight imperfection in this one, so I'm going to use the top half of the sheet for the test. And the second half, sorry, the bottom half of the sheet, I'm going to try and alter the colour. So let me just put that one to one side for a moment. So here I have the image that I'm going to alter. Now, if you saw the last video, you'll remember the bowl that I did my developing in, which is a simple black plastic bowl. And I'm going to immerse my piece of paper, my cyanotype, in this. Now sometimes this works really quickly, so please pay attention. There you go. Okay, so I'm going to take this out and I'm going to put the two bits of paper back together. So you can see directly the difference between the two colours of blue. So I'd hope you'd agree that there's a difference. Whether or not you think it's an improvement, oh, well, it's a matter of personal choice. So as I said before, this is a process of oxidisation. As the chemicals in the cyanotype are, are exposed to air, they gradually, over a few days, take on a darker hue. I can speed this process up by using hydrogen peroxide. Now, it's recommended in a lot of videos to use a 3% solution of hydrogen peroxide. I choose to use a 6% because it's, well, it's just faster. Uh, a 6% bottle, this is about a litre, it costs about 10 pounds. I have no idea how many prints it will do. Uh, but I'm, I'm down to about here now on this one and I've done a lot of prints with it. So if you want to speed up the process of oxidisation and get that deeper Prussian blue colour in your cyanotypes, I would recommend putting about three to four capfuls of hydrogen peroxide in approximately half a litre of water and that will immensely speed up the oxidisation process. I really like it. You know, some people prefer the paler colour. We're all different. There's no right answer. But if you want to do it, this is a very cheap, very effective and very fast way of deepening the blues in your cyanotypes. I hope you enjoyed.